hello everyone in this video i will show you how to install and start with the last version of pure sky first thing to do go to preferences add-ons and enable the sun position add-on you can enable all this okay and now you can install your package the package you download of the last version of pure sky click install and validate now you can close Blender and restart. Okay. For this demo, I will use uh, a simple, I will create a simple scene with a uh, uh, geoscatter and Bagapai asset. So select the plane and go to geoscatter, select emitter. Okay. And add geom scatter. Ah, you can you can remove this light, of course. And this open bagapai and uh, for the demo this. Okay. Now you can close. If you select now Pure Sky, um, hide this and add Pure Sky first. Oh, sorry. Add in the direction we can out. Okay, now you have this nice sky. Change this to and now you can show the um, the asset grass asset and as you can see if you turn now to eight contrast um, eight contrast you have this result okay now you can in edit mode you can uh, scale the scale the the plane generate more asset okay you have this nice result you can see very very nice now you can play with time of day Okay. In um, in quality section, when you enable, for example, low altitude cloud, up, you can you can switch air fast with different uh, volume set setup setting, medium, low, height, eight, three. Okay, and here you have different type of render, right? This can give a more uh, natural look. Fast GE is a default setting that use a internal uh, um, node setup for fast global illumi illumination. And dark mode, dark mode and bright mode use the blender. Um, transmission that can give you a more natural look okay so for this demo i can use i will use this and a more low uh, setting uh, you can use anim mode for preview for have a more fast preview okay and in this last version you can now now you can um, You can fly and uh, forever. For example, here if I press uh, walk mode and walk in this direction, by default, you can see the cloud 
is not more visible. What can you what uh, uh, can you do is to select here a fly cam, select this camera, and press the hold position. And now, if you go in camera position, up and uh, up like this, you a large focal and uh, up. Now, if I fly, I can f I can see no cloud forever. Any direction. Okay. Okay. And um, in volume section, you have this snow mist can help you generate for example if you have a sorry if you have here your forest and you can add the mist box and enable her density density and play with the parameter When you when you connect a fly camera here, you can make this box uh, this box follow the follow the the camera you add here. So you can have if you have a large landscape with this little box, you can see you can generate real realistic mist for and have. Uh, a really nice result. Okay. Um, yeah, you can play with the start distance. And move. You can see the difference. And select the color, etc. For animate uh, the cloud. You, you have no the um, example here. You have no sorry. Um, this this uh, this part of the node. If you want, you can unlink from this uh, from the animate panel, and now use a frame in this value to to generate and animate the, the cloud separately from the other other um, level by default if you have zero uh, zero hair to the uh, animate is connect to the principal panel here okay and you can use a lot of parameter for really for generate really nice animation okay and uh, okay now you can play with uh, for um one last thing for atmospheric fog you can use for example this setting i have a really nice god ray here Okay. And uh, you can play with the start distance, etc., etc. In the next video, I will give you more info on these different uh, elements. So, thank you for uh, watching this video, and see you uh, next.